Uh, hey guys, it, uh, it's me again, and this time I'm presenting the RELA Retrieval Enhanced Large Language Models for Lifelong Sequential Behavior Comprehension in Recommendation. This is also the joint work by Apex Lab at Shanghai Jiaotong University and Huawei Noah Sark Lab. Uh, before we go through the uh, introduction and method part in this paper, we want to clear, we, we, I want to first clarify the settings in this paper we adopt. In this paper, we'll focus on directly leverage LMs to perform the recommendation task, that is, estimate the user preference towards a target item given his or her behavior sequences. And this paradigm of LLM as recommender itself can be either in zero-shot, few-shot, or full-shot uh, settings, that is, according to the number of training samples involved. And uh, I illustrate an input-output textual pairs for the LLM. We can see that in the input prompt, the components are consisting of the user profile, user, user behavior sequence, a target item, and a binary question that to be answered by the LLM towards the user's preference. And the major length of this input prompt actually comes from the user's behavior sequence. The longer the sequence is, the longer the input prompt is. Uh, after clarifying the uh, uh, settings, in this setting and in, for this setting and in this paper, we identify the key problem for LLM, that is lifelong sequential behavior incomprehen incomprehension. That is, uh, LLMs fail to extract the useful information from a textual context of a long user behavior sequence for recommendation tasks, even if the length of context is far from reaching the context window limitation. As shown in this uh, figure, we can see that we vary the length of user behavior sequence K from 5 to 30. And the same as a traditional sequential recommendation model, it enjoys a steady performance improvement as the length K continues to grow. However, as a classical 30, 13 billion large language model, Vicuna, its performance only peaks at a length equal to 15 and starts to degenerate uh, with further longer sequence. So there are uh, and we can also see that the number of total tokens uh, involved, uh, involved in the input prompt is actually around 600, which is much less than the context limitation of Vicuna, which is more than 2,000. So there must come something wrong inside the language model that it fails to understand and, and extract useful information from a long, sequ long sequence. And this is a problem. Given such a challenge and problem, in this paper, we propose a novel framework to de de develop a retrieval enhanced large language models uh, named RILA for recommendation task in both zero shot and few shot settings. For the zero shot recommendation, we conduct a semantic user behavior retrieval to improve the data quality of each data sample. We replace the top K recent behaviors with the top K semantically relevant behaviors towards the target item. And for future, uh, for future recommendation, we propose to perform retrieval enhanced instruction tuning, that is rate, to promote the ability of LLMs to extract useful information from a long user behavior sequence with SUBR as the data augmentation and mixing strategy. Uh, to be highlighted as our one key experiment found out, our proposed RELA is highly sample efficient. With only less than 10% training samples, FuelShot RELA can outperform traditional CTR models that are trained on the entire training set like DCNV2 or DIN. Uh, now for the details for the, our methodology, first we come to the semantic user behavior retrieval. Uh, I would like to first illustrate a high level example about what it does. What it does. Given a user's lifelong behavior sequence, it is very long and lengthy given a target item, the metrics. Uh, commonly, we will co construct the top K recent behavior prompts in the left side, and the blue title is the top K recent behaviors. But uh, this top K behavior can be messy and hard for the LM to understand. So we can use the target item, the metrics, this movie, to retrieve the top K similar movies in his lifelong behavior sequences and construct it with the prompt like in the right side. And uh, this purified input prompt can be easier for the LLM to, un to, to understand. So how do we conduct the semantic information retrieval? Uh, it is simple. Uh, first, we will conduct a semantic item encoding followed by the PCA to obtain the uh, item representation. 
Then for each coming data sample, we use the representation of the target item to retrieve the top case similar behaviors, that is items from the user's lifelong behavior sequences. And that is all for our SUBR. The method is very simple. And the key idea is to purify our, uh, purify the fixed length user behavior sequence and make it, make it easier to be understand. Uh, next, for the few short recommendation, uh, we propose to we propose the retrieval enhanced instruction tuning that is RIT. It is also very simple as the SUBR. We propose to leverage semantic user behavior retrieval to as the data augmentation technique to construct a mixed training a uh, mixed training data set with enriched behavior user behavior patterns. That is, for each sample in the training set, we will apply the SUBR to construct, construct its retrieval enhanced counterparts. That is, we double the training data uh, in our training set and construct a mixed one. That is, the mixed data set will contain, con contain both the top key recent and top key relevant behaviors. These mixed behavior patterns will serve as the augmentation technique to uh, improve the robust ro robustness and the generalization ability of our LM during the model tuning. And finally, we use the causal language modeling objective for the instruction tuning to retain the original model structure. Uh, that is all for our rate. And uh, to be noted that uh, this mixed training data strategy is only applied during the training phase. And uh, during the inference phase, we only use the retrieval enhanced samples for the model to conduct the final inference. And uh, that is all for our method. To, to, to recap, we can see that we propose two different key technologies for two key different settings. That is SUBR. SUBR semantic user behavior retrieval, it aims to improve the data quality and improve the, the LM's the understanding ability from the data perspective. And the rate, it improves the model's understanding ability from the model perspective and injects the, the uh, comprehension of cap capability into the model via the tuning over the mixed training data set. Uh, now let's come to the experiment part. First, uh, again, is the overall performance. We conduct the, perf uh, we conduct the experiment on three different public data sets and conduct in four different settings that is Zero shot, few shot, and a full shot. First, we can look at the first big role that is zero shot. Uh, since zero shot cannot tune the models at all, so we do not involve any traditional CDR models. Only LM can do this zero shot recommendation. And we can see that after applying Relay, that is SUBR, we can improve the performance on both data uh, on all the data sets. Uh, if we can involve model tuning. We tune the, all the traditional CDR models in full short manner. That is, they can see and train on the full training data set, especially on the right column. That is, movie length 25 million. So there are around 20, more, more than 20 million training samples. So it is well trained. However, our proposed relay can be only trained in few short manner since the training uh, 13 billion Vicuna is very cost, uh, is very expensive. But with less than 70,000 training samples, our RELA can also defeat the fully trained CTR models by a large margin, which demonstrates the uh, superior sample efficiency. Uh, the next experiment is about the sequential behavior comprehension since the, the, the proposal of our RELA aims to address such a key challenge. We, for, for three data sets, we also vary the length of user behavior sequence k uh, from 5 to 13 or from 10 to 60. And uh, we report the performance of three different models. The blue line stands for the SIM, which is fully trained traditional model, traditional CTR models, and it is the best baseline. The yellow, mod the yellow line denotes the Vicuna zero shot. That is, it did not evolve any techniques proposed by our paper. And we can see that its performance can only peak at k equal to 15 or 30 and start to decrease, which corresponds to our incomprehension problem. And equipped by our related techniques, the model performance can start to continuously increase as the length of user behavior lens uh, increases. And uh, that proves that our proposed technique can solve this problem. Uh, the final experiment is about the sample efficiency. 
since we can see that virtual relay can out outperform some full short CTR models, we also vary vary the involved number of training samples and see the performance. We can see that the uh, pink rectangles and pink bars stand for the uh, best baseline model theme, and the blue stands for our model relay. And the red dash line here serves as the full shot training set, full shot uh, best baseline theme with around the less than 60, 60 training sam 60,000 training samples, Rela can again uh, outperform the red red dash line. That's, uh, that's this validates that our proposed Rela is fairly sample efficient. Uh, uh, then here's the conclusion. We are the first to formulate and identify the lifelong sequential behavior incomprehension problem of LMs for recommendation. And uh, to address such a problem, we propose RELA, which is the key technique is to retrieve and make the augmentations. Also, our proposed RELA is highly sample efficient. Uh, due to time limitation, actually for this work, I, there are more things to discuss and we got some explorative tryings and are willing to share. I, I I know some, I gave some keynotes here, and if you guys are interested, we can uh, talk after this oral session. Thanks.